Hello everyone. Today, let's talk about the most prescribed antihypertensive in the United States. I'm sure you know someone who takes Losartan. Do you take Losartan? Let me know in the comments. Today I'm going to explain in detail how this very important and widely used medication works. I'll explain how the medication is absorbed, how it works, how it is eliminated from our bodies and of course, uh, you'll learn about the main side effects of this medication. So stay with me until the end of the video because this video is not to be missed. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm here to share some insights on cardiology and its fascinating aspects. Let's talk today about the famous Lozartan, the most prescribed antihypertensive by doctors, one of the most prescribed medications in the United States, did you know? And why is Lozartan so widely prescribed? Is it really that good? Firstly, Lozartan is a very low-cost drug. It's even available in the popular pharmacy. Secondly, it controls blood pressure very well when taken correctly. And thirdly, it has very few side effects. The vast majority of patients don't complain when they start taking it. But what is the effect of Lozartan? How does it lower our blood pressure? Losartan is a drug in the class of angiotensin II receptor inhibitors, also known as angiotensin receptor blockers. It is mainly used to treat high blood pressure, but did you know that it can also be used, for example, for heart failure, i.e., for those with weak hearts, to reduce the risk of heart attacks, the risk of strokes, type 2 diabetes, the development of kidney failure, and what's more, it can reduce the heart's workload and improve blood flow to the heart muscle. You didn't know that, did you? Let us know in the comments whether you did or not. And doctor, how does it work in our bodies? We know that angiotensin II is a hormone that has various physiological effects. It makes the vessels contract, releases aldosterone, increases the reabsorption of sodium and water by the synthesis. Losartan therefore acts by blocking angiotensin the secoi receptors, thereby reducing blood pressure. So, so as it is a selective antagonist of the dangiotensin II receptor, it acts selectively to block these receptors which are there in many organs, heart, kidneys, blood vessels, brain, this action of Losartan on these ATI receptors leads to a series of beneficial effects. So let's look at the four beneficial effects of Losartan. First effect, a logical reduction in blood pressure. So Losartan acts as a vasodilator, i.e. it will relax your blood vessels. It will help reduce peripheral vascular resistance, which is one of the main factors contributing to high blood pressure. Let's move on to the second beneficial effect. But first, are you already subscribed to the channel? Have you clicked on the little bell to receive all the notifications? Then, after the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But let's move on to the second benefit, a reduction in left ventricular hypertrophy. We know that chronic hypertension can lead to left ventricular hypertrophy which is an increase in the size of the muscle in the left ventricle. So Los Artin can help reduce left ventricular hypertrophy, especially in hypertensive patients, or prevent this hypertrophy from happening in patients with high blood pressure. The third benefit is that it reduces the body's retention of water and sodium. So Los Artin can help reduce water retention, the reduction of sodium by the kidneys, which is also very important for controlling blood pressure and avoiding fluid overload. And fourthly, it improves kidney function. So Losartan can help improve kidney function in patients with high blood pressure. In patients, for example, with type 2 diabetes and protein, i.e. protein in the urine, it can also help. And what happens after the Losartan tablet is swallowed? Losartan is absorbed quickly here in the intestine. It reaches its maximum effect about an hour after ingestion. It is metabolized in the liver. It has an elimination half-life there of about six hours. That is, in six hours, half of it has already been metabolized by the body. 
It can also be more potent and lower blood pressure in elderly patients, especially those who have orthostatic hypotension. What is orthostatic hypotension? When blood pressure drops when you stand up. It is therefore important to carefully monitor blood pressure in elderly patients receiving Losartan. That's a special precaution. In patients with advanced kidney failure, it can also make kidney function even worse. And, together with this, it can cause our body's potassium to increase, which we call hyperkalemia. This hyperkalemia, when not treated properly, can lead to cardiac arrhythmia, electrical conduction disorders in the heart. Look at the danger of self-medication, which I always talk about. You control your blood pressure, but soon you start having arrhythmia. So be careful. Always only take medication with a doctor's prescription, guys. Now let's talk about the contraindications of Losartan. Pregnant women, women who want to become pregnant, should avoid using Losartan because it can cause damage to the developing fetus. Patients with known hypersensitivity to Losartan or any of the components of the formula should also not use the medication. Patients who have bilateral renal artery stenosis or have stenosis in patients who only have one kidney generally cannot use this antipertensive either. As I said, patients with liver or kidney failure should be closely monitored to avoid decompensation of these organs. It should also be remembered that Losartan can be used in combination with other antihypertensive drugs, such as diuretics, beta blockers, aldosterone receptor antagonists, and calcium channel blockers. I'll even talk more about these other pressure medications later. In fact, which medication do you want me to talk about? Then leave it in the comments and I'll do a series on the main drugs for high blood pressure. But what about the others in this class of medication? What about the other drugs in this class? Are they better? Are they worse? There are other angiotensin in II receptor blockers that are similar to Losartan in terms of mechanism of action, in terms of therapeutic indication. Some examples are Valsartan, or Mesartan, Telmesartan, Candesartan. In terms of their effectiveness in controlling hypertension, these others have shown similar results, with blood pressure reduction rates very similar to Losartan. There is a particular issue in some clinical studies in which Losartan was found to be slightly less potent than some others, such as Omazartan, Iberzartan, for example, in terms of reducing systolic blood pressure mainly. Compared to others, Losartan may have a slightly higher incidence of side effects, such as coughing and dizziness. But overall, they are very similar. There was also a study that compared Losartan with Valsartan, and Valsartan showed a greater reduction in the risk of cardiovascular events in patients with heart failure. There was another study that also compared some and found that Omazartan was the most powerful in terms of reducing blood pressure, both systolic and diastolic. So you've seen that there are several studies on these drugs. In fact, cardiology is an area that is always evolving and we cardiologists have to be constantly studying in order to be able to offer the best individualized treatment for each patient. It's important to emphasize here in this video that the choice of medication will depend on each patient, always based on an individual assessment. Each case is different. Of course, we always take into account factors such as the patient's clinical condition, the medication's safety profile, its effects on blood pressure, and all blood pressure medications. It's always important to emphasize that the choice and dosage of medication should always be made by a good cardiologist. So you won't be using your neighbor's or husband's medication if you have high blood pressure. The first thing you need to do is make an appointment with a good cardiologist. But look guys, that's a lot of information. So I want you to share the video with as many people as you can. People need good information. Let's save the world. My idea is to save the world. Are you coming with me or not? Okay, guys? So I'll leave it at that. That's it for today. A big hug and see you next time.